What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to go in and get our first badge. Yeah, you know, that's always nice, getting our first badge and all that stuff. So now, we did a little bit of training, and uh, I realized something from Mr. Teeny, and that was this. Mr. Teeny, look at that, docile nature, fire type Pokemon. And it does have the ability Gluttony, which encourages the early use of a held berry. So this is pretty much my contingency plan, just in case if that thing goes, goes awry and all that crud. I did equip it with an Oran Berry, especially with my other two Pokemon, because I don't want to waste a turn, you know, healing up my Pokemon and then getting pummeled and all that stuff, because this gym likes to use its workup technique and all that stuff. So here it is, guys, the next gym, or the first gym of the Unova region. The Striaton City Gym. Now, this gym right here is a little bit, um, it's a little bit different from most gyms. Most gyms right here have uh, their very own typing. A lot of the first gyms are rock type trainers and all that stuff, but right here, it all depends on what your starter Pokemon is. I'll tell you a little bit once we cross here. Now, as you can see, Homeboy just looks at us and he's gonna be like, "Hello, my, I'm Clyde. I am the guide for ch trainers challenging Pokemon gyms." We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate your occasion. And as such, you know, he does give us fresh water. Very, very needed. So thank you, man. He's going to keep on doing that, too. So, as you can see, this is a restaurant. One of the things that you guys will be noticing when we battling when we battle every single gym leader is that they all have some kind of a big job. Uh, these guys are restaurant managers. I believe the next one is like a, what was it? Not a librarian, but a museum curator or something. The next one is an artist, a mayor, you know, that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool on how like they, they, they added uh, all that stuff into this game right here too. Now, the way to get through this whole area is if you look at the, what was it? If you look at that thing right there with the fire type symbol, you actually have to pick the type that actually defeats it. So as you can see, water defeats fire and uh, look at that it's correct if you choose it correctly it's just gonna give you a big ass buzz now uh, we have yeah we do have trainers waiting for us so we're gonna be battling every single one of these guys as you can see oh boy is looking at us all cockeyed and everything he's like welcome to the strikes and gym care for a taste of uh, battle I'll serve up a first uh, cro the first course and like I said this is a restaurant and a lot of these trainers are you know waiters waitresses and yeah, they all have some kind of a weird job and all that stuff. So he's going to be starting off with the Lillipup. Now, again, not a very specific type that you have right here. They they all have normal type Pokemon, except for the gym leaders. And all oh, the gym leaders do have one normal type and a specific elemental monkey. So we're, once we get there, I'll show you what, we, uh, what we're what we going to be doing right here. So here we go. Another tackle attack. And look at that. Lillipup gets defeated by Ace. Alrighty. Look at that. Ace grows to level 14. Yeah! Invoke it. That's right. Fatality. Okay, so the next sign right here is water, so it can be defeated by grass-type Pokemon. That's always nice right there, too. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So that moves along, and now I'm just going to be switching up my Pokemon right here. And, uh... The, the plan is not to use that berry very quickly, because uh, we want to use it for the, uh, for the gym leader. So, here we go. Who's the next trainer right here? And uh, she's taking a little bit long. So she, she, here she is. The specialty of the Strides and Gym, the full course. Trainer Delu, I'm your second course. Okay. All right. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> like I said, guys, this gym is pretty weird from, uh, from all the other gym leaders. So here we go. Waitress Tia would like to battle, and she will be coming out with her Patrat. No multi Pokemon and everything. And here we go with Sigh of the Torrent. Ready to kick some ass, take some names and all that crud. Here we go, a water gun attack. Let's get it. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, well, there, there's a leer attack. We don't like that. We don't like leer, so stop attacking us with leer. Here we go, finish him off again. Water gun attack. For the win. There we go. That's how you do it. And uh, she's going to be coming out with another Pokemon right here, so we're going to stick by right here with uh, Sigh of the Torrent. And uh, let's go right ahead and use that tackle attack right there. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, and uh, an assist attack. Okay, what could it be? A tackle, right? No, it uses Bide. Now, Bide is a very dangerous move if you attack the Pokemon because it will unleash its energy after two turns. 
And, uh, well, this Pokemon doesn't really have two turns. It only has one, so there we go. Eat it. Suck it, Purloin. That's right. Look at that. Awesome sauce right there. Level 16, Sigh of the Torrent. That's always awesome. Just to be victorious and all that stuff. Okay, so the next the next part of this whole thing is that we're going to be battling a gym leader of uh, whatever choosing. And what I'm, while I'm doing that, I'm actually going on Bulbapedia to pick out... Uh, the gym leader right here. So let's see, Cillian, Cillian. Let's see, I'm doing that. Yes, I know. I should have, I should have prepared, I should have prepared before this episode right here. But it's whatever. Okay, so Cillian, 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 the triple double right here. Okay, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and finish off this whole thing. Of course, Grass type Pokemon can be defeated by Fire type. So let's step on that and let's not worry about anything else, right? Look at that. It's opening and. Uh, well, first is first. Let me go ahead and check out my Pokemon. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use a potion just to keep all my Pokemon nice and healed up. So let's see, where are you? Okay, there we go. Freshwater potions. Gotta love them potions. There we go. Okay. So once you step up here, you're going to see one gym leader. But then all of a sudden, welcome to the Strident City Gym, the Pokemon Gym. And then BAM! This guy pops out and he's like, I'm chilly. I light things up with fire Pokemon. Oh, damn. I'm the water type specialist. My name is Cress. I am totally not emo. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And here we have Cillian or Cillian or Kylan or whatever. Pronounce his name. I butcher names, okay? I am the grouse type Pokemon trainer. And of course, he's spinning around. He's like, hmm, you see. As for why the three of us, hmm, well, all, well, um, are all of here. Uh, here is, well, uh, uh, well, oh, enough, listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the, off the type of, uh, poke, uh, oh, blah, blah, blah. wow, can't read, again, sorry guys. It'll be based on the type of, of the first Pokemon you choose, or chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you chose, uh, was a water type, it seems. So it looks like we're going to be battling the grass type trainer, Silen or Silent or whatever his name is. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my grass type Pokemon will um we're going to battle and come and uh, come what may. I don't even know what that means. Okay, so uh contingency plan. We do have Mr. Teeny thanks to that young lady from the last episode. So just in case we get one, we run into trouble, we're gonna be battling this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and do it. Sam, so, are um, uh, you okay with me? I'll um put everything I g I've got uh, being er, uh, you know, your opponent. Okay, so here we go, guys. Gym battle number one against Silent or Silent or whatever his name is. Uh, look at that, Silent, Kylan, Silent, and he will be coming out with the Lillipup. Look at that, Lillipup looking like a like a beast right here. Mm -hmm. Level 12 and everything, and here we go. Sigh of the Torrent. Okay! Look at that, guys. We went into it, yes. Into the next screen right here. This is a new thing that I'm going to try. Uh, this is actually inspired by Chugga Conroy right here, so hopefully I did it better than, well, not better than him, but hopefully I live up to the whole thing right here. So as you can see, we are uh, facing Silent, the uh, Striton Gym Leader. Now... This gym right here, it all depends on what your starter Pokemon is. And since we are using a water type Pokemon, he will be coming out with a grass type and a normal type. His first Pokemon is Lillipup, level 12. It does have the ability to pick up, doesn't have any kind of items or anything. Its four moves is Bite, Work Up, Odor Sleuth, and Helping Hand. Now, switching into the next Pokemon right here, he does have Pansage at level 14. It does have the ability to Gluttony, doesn't have any held item right there. It does have Work Up, Lick. Fury Swipes, and Vine Whip. You gotta be aware of that workup ability, guys, because it will raise their physical and special attacks. The other thing, too, be aware of Pansage's Lick Attack. It will paralyze you. So, you don't want anything of that nature or anything like that, but make sure to stock up on some good items. Remember, you did get a full heal from uh, your good old buddy, Charon, at the Pokemon School. So, moving on right here, let's do this. Bring it. Water Gun, eat this. Oh, yes. Look at that. And here it comes with its workup technique. It's gonna power up just a little bit. And uh, like I said, it's a physical attack, it's special attack will rise. And he's like, ah, oh, my Pokemon. Okay, well, your Pokemon are gonna take this right here. This water gun attack right here. And there we go, Lillipup has been defeated. 
Alrighty, so here he comes out with Advanced Age. So I'm gonna go straight for Mr. Teeny right here. Yes, it is two level down, two levels down, but I'm gonna try and uh, you know make it faint real quickly right here with a Fire type Pokemon. So here we go, Mr. Teeny. Let's try, let's try and beat this guy real quickly. And then the music changes. He's like, "How could it be? How can I only have one Pokemon left?" Well, I prepared for you. And here he comes out with a Vine Whip. Not so much effective, but here we go. Incinerate for the win. Yeah, buddy. Takes most of his HP, and he'll try and heal his Pokemon right there and then. Nope. He's gonna go with the Vine Whip again. And here we go. Incinerate for the win. Oh, oh, damn! Nearly defeats him! Wow! Okay, so... Silent or Celian or whatever... It's silent, it's silent. Whatever. Heals up his Pokemon, so here we go again with another Incinerate attack. Let's get this. Nearly gets this guy, so we're gonna try it again. Finish this guy off with some Incinerates. Now, I'm surprised that it's not using its Lick attack to just slow me down. So there we go again. Incinerate. For the win, and that is how you take care of business right there, guys. Look at that. And Mr. Teeny grows some much-needed experience points, and he's like, ah, it's over now? That's right. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. What a surprise! You are very strong. Seems like uh, not even Chili or Crest could beat you. Yeah, that is true. So there you go, guys. We get our first badge, the Trio Badge. Oh yes, and look at that box. Look at that, it's opening. BAM! That's right, first badge ever. Get the trio badge. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have a uh, one badge, Pokemon, including traded uh, Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. And here we have the TM83, which is Workup. One of their specialty moves right here. Uh, it contains Workup. If you use a Workup, the Pokemon's attack and special attack go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want, which is a very, very good thing about the Unova region. One big change that they did was they converted TMs into eight, well, kind of like HMs. They will never run out. You can use them over and over and over and over again. Biggest uh, improvement ever, in my opinion. So that's one badge right there, guys. We kicked some ass. That's right. We took names and everything. Sue us. That's right. Okay, so let's talk to this guy right here. I hope you'll always remember the incredible moment you received that this badge. Take a look at this name. Striaton Pokemon Gym. Crest Chili Silly Silent Certified Trainers at Draven. Okay, so we're gonna stay right here, guys. Because in the next episode, we still got a few things to do in Striaton, uh, in Striaton City before we move on along uh, in our adventure. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Black. See you guys.